What up, what up, what up? Want to make a real fast video here on the uh, S&P 500 on the monthly time frame. So we're looking at the last 10 years. I'm going all the way back to 2011, so the last 11 years. Um, as many of you guys know, I like to use technical analysis to formulate uh, my trades on the stock markets. I like to use it in confluence with moving averages and previous support and resistance levels. Also, I'll use it along with the RSI. But we haven't looked at it on the monthly time frame in, in quite a while. And I wanted to take a look at the monthly time frame candles since we had this big, massive pullback and see if there's anything we're missing. And what I found out today was I was, I was looking at support, 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 like, all right, so we got big swings here, you know. Like, we're, we're, there's no trend line here that you can draw. You know, this it's kind of funky. It's all over the place. But then I was just like, wait, what about the upper trend line? And I literally found this. This is the monthly time frame. So this is going all the way back to 2011, right here. And every single candle represents one month, as you guys know. And we had so many tests. This trend line is insane. One, two, three, four. Five, six, close enough. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That one wasn't twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Can't close below. And then 26 finally broke above. That was back in November of 2020. So this one broke above day, the, the monthly close above the trend line that it was holding for, what did I say, 26, 27 straight, 27 previous months. And then we got a massive move up. We literally, the, the, this, is, this, is how, this is how trend lines work, guys. This is why you want to use them in your, in your trading because – for about nine years, it was respecting this trend line for 27, 26 months, and then it breaks above it. The first month of candle breaks above it. If we just bought that, the S&P 500 rallied up and it hit 33% in, in just about a year, in just over a year, which is massive returns on the S&P 500. And what do we have right here? What do we have right here? Let me get rid of all these 26 months. What do we have? We had a massive retest on this trend line with a big move back up to close the month. We closed the month green, which is insane because there was so much volatility this month in, in, in this month of May, and we're back to where we started on the S&P 500. We had a bullish engulfing candle here um, on the weekly, so we, we dialed it back here. Everything still looks the same with this trend line. If you guys just zoom out, everything still looks the same. Trend line still intact on the, on the weekly. We had a nice retest. Big candle to finish off the month here. And now we have, of course, we have a little bit of resistance here. If you want to form some trend lines, we might consolidate in this in this triangle pennants before we have ultimately get a move up higher, I think, and go to new all-time highs. But this is crazy that we're seeing this trend line literally hold as new support. So I was looking for something down here. Where's the trend line? Where's the trend line? Where's the trend line? I don't see one. I don't see one. We're testing the trend line right now. So... Think about it, look at it, trade it, peace.